have brought you the story of seven special needs children living in deplorable conditions. They were under the care of a Fort Bend County couple who lived in a quiet neighborhood. The children were adopted by 54-year-old Paula Sinclair and her husband. Now Sinclair and another man living at that home are facing charges. Channel 2 investigator Bill Spencer joins us live from Fort Bend County where the sheriff is trying to uncover more details about this family's past. Bill? Bill, you know, this case has generated so much anger in the public. I mean, the story of these seven children living in squalor like animals. Now there is information about an eighth child who died in that very same home. Tonight, Fort Bend County Sheriff's investigators are digging deeper into the past lives of Paula Sinclair and Alan Richardson, the Richmond couple accused of imprisoning seven special needs children inside this small bedroom under horrific conditions. Now, Channel 2 Investigates has learned an eighth child, a seven-year-old boy named Jaden Sinclair, also lived inside this Richmond home, a boy who died on January 30th, 2011, reportedly of natural causes. The Sheriff's Department has decided now not to reinvestigate that case. Oh, you will not be reopening that investigation the, at this point? There is no need. I mean, we did a very thorough investigation, medical examiner, the justice of the peace, death investigators, detectives, and we didn't find any foul play. The day that boy died, investigators say he was suffering from cerebral palsy, blindness, couldn't talk, and was bedridden with a feeding tube. As for the conditions Sinclair and Richardson are accused of putting those other seven children through, we got a clearer picture of that today. Can mm -hmm. you tell me really what the conditions mm -hmm. were like? It, horrible. Uh, you have seven children uh, confined to one room, black mold uh, in the room. Um, uh, detectives stated they saw, you know, rodents or cockroaches, things of that nature around the walls, insects. Of it. So just horrible. Uh, not suited for animals. Now, there is one bit of good news tonight. The sheriff tells me that the public, people out there like you, have been sending in gift cards, dozens and dozens and dozens of them, totaling over $1,000. Uh, those gift cards will be used to buy things that are needed for these seven children. If you would like to donate a gift card, you're asked to send it here to the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Department. We have a link to that on our website, clicktohouston.com. Reporting live, Bill Spencer, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Bill.